Okay guys, so today we're going to start making our T10 pinhole camera and this particular T10 is listed on Amazon and I'll be putting the link down below so you can have that. I ordered these in packs of six, um, which is a good number to, to start with. It gives you six exposures. First thing we got to do, we got to find the middle point here. So we will measure this out and just put a mark. Let's find that back. There. It doesn't have to be incredibly exact, but you want to get it close. Okay. Now we'll go drill it. All right, now we've got to drill the pinhole. What I normally do is I start out with a really small drill bit. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. And then I go up from there. I find with the larger drill bits they kind of move around. So if you have that small guide hole, it works really well. So we'll start here. Then, pop in a larger drill bit. That probably is big enough, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go one size larger. A little bit bigger. Perfect. Now, when you do this, you're probably going to have a little bit of roughness on the inside. Um, right in here, where the hole is. So we're going to turn that around so you can see it better. Yeah, there it is. Right in here. It's a little bit, but not much. So what I normally do with this case is I take an old spoon and I just kind of burnish it down a little bit. Um, and then we're good to go. Now, just to clarify, this is not going to be our pinhole. This is just an opening to put a pinhole into, and we have to paint it flat black first, so let's do that now. Okay guys, so now we have our T10 ready to paint. We've got to paint the inside because we don't want any reflections bouncing around. So what we're going to use is just some um, flat black paint. And what I've done with the lid and with the body is I've kind of taped it at the top just so tape, so paint doesn't get all over the, the outside. Um, so let's go ahead and spray this. You don't have to put a heavy coat, just something to kind of kill the reflections. And that should be good. And now we'll spray the top of the lid the same way. We'll wait for that to dry. We'll put our pinhole in and we'll be done. So now that we've got our T10 drilled, 
it's painted flat black on the inside that's drying it should be dry in an hour or two we need to make a lens for the camera when you make a pinhole lens you make it out of thin metal um, a lot of times if you look online people will say that they'll use um, like soda cans a pop can something like that they'll cut up the metal from that or a pie plate um, I like to use a thinner metal than that because the thinner the metal that you use the sharper the image is going to be and that's why we don't drill a small hole directly into the T10 because the T10 is quite thick um, and we would get a very soft image. So what I like to use, and it's available on Amazon, is just a really thin brass foil. And you get, it's relatively cheap and you get a ton of this stuff so you can make a lot of different pinholes out of it. So what we do is we take a, cut up a, a little square of this, making sure that it's big enough to kind of cover that hole that we drilled out in the camera. And then we want to use a pin, right? Um, this is a sewing needle and what I've done just to make it a little bit easier to handle is I put some black gaffer tape here on the on the needle itself so I can kind of hold on to it because you don't really want to just punch this through the metal you kind of work it through just gently to you twist it back and forth until it kind of pops through and you can feel it pop through the other side so what we want to do is just kind of go back and forth like this and with this metal it's thin enough to where it doesn't really take very long for it to go through and you'll feel it go through right and then you've got your hole when you make your hole on the other side here you can I hope you guys can see this it's it's got a little bit of an indentation because the pin pushed through so what we need to do now is we need to just file that down a little bit smooth it out to make it um, where we get a, a again a sharper image and also it makes it a little bit more circular of an opening as well um, so what I use is a emery board just regular emery board use the 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 smooth side not the rough side and then you just take it and you just kind of go back and forth like so until you feel that that ridge kind of just disappear and you can you can kind of feel that it's smooth right then you're ready to go so we just got to wait for our paint to dry and then what we'll do is we will attach this pinhole to the inside of the camera we'll make a shutter for the camera and then we're ready to take some pictures. All right, now that we have the inside of our can painted black, what I've done is I've taken the pinhole that we made and taped it with just electrical tape, leaving the pinhole exposed right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tape this to the inside of the camera and then when we're done with that I'll show you how we're gonna make the shutter okay so we've got our hole pinhole mounted behind it's probably too dark you probably can't see it but it's taped in right behind the main hole that we drilled and you can see that it's centered ready to go so now the only thing that we have to have now is a shutter something to keep the inside dark until we want it to be exposed. To do that we're going to take a piece of electrical tape and just going to take it and bend over one of the ends just to make a tab and then this sticks on top of the hole here. So now it's light tight and whenever we're ready to make an exposure all we do is just simply take that off, let it expose, put it back on again. Easy. <laughs> 